Hello there, people of YouTube land. Once again, it is I, the Zombie Messiah. And, as you can see, and as you, as I'm pretty sure you can see, I have got some, Ru some Ruby Grim Eclipse gameplay here. And, the reason why I decided to have this gameplay playing is because in this video, there is a theory that I have thought about... I don't know if anyone else has thought of this theory, so I thought I'd make a video about it, and, well, if you guys have heard the theory before, then just put down in the comments below saying that someone already has thought of the theory. But, anyway, a... But, anyway, here it goes. I don't... Just... There we go. But anyway, um, the, the the theory goes that Adam Taurus, the leader of the White Fang, in Ruby, is actually was actually trained at a Huntsman Academy. But he was one of those Huntsmen that ended up not that ended up on the path that wasn't defending people. And, for those of you who are wondering, oh, what's the proof that you ha have in regards to this? There's one, there's one thing that I can say. Combat. Especially during the Battle for Beacon at the end of Volume 3. Yeah, spoiler alert for if you haven't watched Season 3 yet. Basically, shit goes, shit goes down. But, yeah, in that we see Adam taking out constant numbers of huntsmen and hunt huntresses. Now we now that could just be put down to the fact that they're still trainee huntsmen that they're still well that they're still training as huntsmen. And so they're probably not gonna be as good. But if we've seen anything from the likes of Team Ruby and Team Juniper, and heck even any of any of the other teams that took that took part in the vital tournament even trainee huntsmen and huntresses are very well adept in the art of combat, so much so that not even rec that not even regular people, well, so much so that uh, reg regular people can't even compare. So the idea that at so the idea that Adam is not doesn't at least have some. Um, training as a huntsman, and wouldn't make sense considering the combat, considering his level of combat expertise, especially with what we see at the end of Volume Three. So. So basically, he, um, here's the way here's the way I see um, these things go, see things being revealed, if it turns out that this theory is actually right. Um, it's Yang and Blake team up to fight Adam again after encountering him somewhere. Um, and then he, and then in the middle of the fight, he exposits about how, how he, about how he know, knows what they're going to do because he has been, because he has been, because he was trained at a Huntsman Academy, so he knows how, so he knows what to expect from Huntsmen and Huntresses. Which is how, which is how he was able to take out the vast majority of the huntsmen and huntresses at Beacon. However, because, however, because Yang and Blake are, like, are, are using a combined effort instead of just tackling him on his, just tackling him on their own one at a time. 
they actually manage to just overpower Adam. So, yeah, that's kind. Yeah, that's kind of it. It really. I, once again, I don't know. I don't know if what I said is true or not. But I guess it's all down to Miles and Carrie from Rooster Teeth to decide whether or not whether or not what I said could be a possibility. Although, uh, although I'll actually be surprised if it is, and uh, and also I will be very happy if it turns out that bomb that bumblebee is cannon. Just saying. As a fan of both Blake and Yang, I mean hell for this. Le I mean hell for this gameplay. I am using Yang. But yeah, that's basically all for the little for the little theory that I have. I wish I could have found more evidence that could cement at that could cement Adam possibly being a, possibly being in, trained as a huntsman. But unfortunately, there isn't. Unfortunately, it's only really his combat prowess that we have to go on. Although it'll be a very, although it'll be a very shocking twist if you is to find out that Adam was trained as a huntsman, but he just chose, to, but he just chose a different path. And before I go, I just want to um, talk a little bit about the game that I'm playing, Ruby Eclipse. Well, Ruby Grim Eclipse. It, it's actually a ve it's actually a lot of fun when you get in when you get into it. It is primarily multiplayer focused, although you can get away with just playing single player. Unfortunately, there is no local there is no local co op, so you can't have so you can't have a friend. And sitting next to you and playing the game alongside you but hey it's still good if you manage to find people online to play with especially since matchmaking now is matchmaking now is is actually very well done however I will admit when I first played this game back when it Back when it came out, I had it on the Xbox One. There was a bug in there was a bug in place where um, every time where when you left the game, it would reset your progress. It was it would reset your progress a bit far back. Unfortunately for me, it was mostly to the third level of the game or the third level of the level of the campaign with. With my um, well, with any characters that have gone over level four, being reset to level four, so I had to get so, in the, so in the time I was playing in Ruby Grim Eclipse on the Xbox One up until they patched out that bug, I had gotten Yang, I had gotten Yang Xiaolong to level ten twice, all because of that bug, but luckily. They seem to have patched it since then. Which has which has led to the game being a bit more well, favorable. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked what you saw, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot more than you think. This has been the Zombie Messiah, signing out. Have a good one.